in and I throw him in there. Nope. Howdy everybody, and welcome back to Project Ozone 3, yay! Okay, so I just got back from a four day camping trip, so I'm way behind, many things to do. Uh, here's what I've done so far, <laughs> oh, this, this is awful, awful looking. I got it built, uh, compacting drawers for all my little uh, chunks my nuggets and then the rest of the not nuggety stuff are over in these guys and I got it built and I hate it I really do I do not like how this is developing so before I get too far into it I am going to knock it all down and rethink it uh, in order to build all that stuff well there was a whole bunch of questing type things that I done. Um, and it doesn't look like any of them are on this page. What page are they on? Where are they? Okay, there's some. So, yeah, made the basic drawer, obviously. Controller, you got to have one of those. Compacting drawers for all the little chunks. And, wait, did I? There, got it. And, of course, because of the way I am. I need the key that's like the first thing that I build after I when I build a storage door the next thing I build is the key so I can see the numbers I like the numbers I don't really care about locking them that may come later but yeah I got to see the numbers um, it was fun trying to get gather up the materials for a book and quill I had some feathers and the leather Let's see for paper I ended up using some of this stuff so yeah if we look here a uh, boop and a boop uh, I don't have any sugar cane or if I do I don't remember it so I had a bunch of sawdust in a bucket so boom there's the paper the leather well that was a little trickier I ended up skipping the leather and went just to the blank pattern thing so yeah that's a kind of an odd recipe and probably pretty expensive but I did not want to to go out there looking for cows because there's a there was a ton of mobs out there earlier and uh, what I ended up doing for the squid ink is I did I waited for daylight and then I ran over that way and killed a squid I found some some those fluid cows I may have to go grab them and bring them over but before I do that I need to figure out you know where am I gonna put them what am I gonna do with them I don't, I don't even know um, but let's see I think that's about it I figured out what the overworld apples for that that's for like if I go to the nether I will take that with me zap me back home zap me back home um, not sure I think I've been looking and right now it's pretty clear of mobs because I went over uh, just recently to that area and I guess they despawned there was a bunch of them out here and they're just slowly just eroding the whole area out here and the same over here they're just like just eroding everything oh that witch is still there she's been there for a while um but see they're knocking chunks out of my base my base base the base of my base and uh that's not good so i got to figure out what to do about that um i'm not sure i am thought about just surrounding myself with running water and it'll just push them away, push them away. But I don't know how that's going to look. I still need to work on a mob farm. I still don't know if I'm going to put it in the air or put it down low or what. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. I do know that this has got to move. This is not going to work. This has got to move. I'm going to need a tinker set up. So I think over the next little while, I'm going to work on the tinker setup. Oh, oh, something else. I went ahead and turned this back on to get obsidian because I thought what I might could do is build the base like a ziggurat of obsidian around my base. That might be a thing I want to do. I'm not positive yet. So I've got it running in the meantime. 
And that's, I guess I'm going to move this. And then I guess, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, maybe we'll start working on the Tinker stuff. I'm not a fan of Tinkers. I understand it. I understand the basics of Tinkers. I know how to make a Tinkers smeltery and and make tools and patterns and such. Oh, what's this? Light looks weird. Uh, but what I don't know is like optimal tool material combinations. So I may need you guys' help on that as there's a lot that can happen. So I reckon that's what I'm going to do. Figure out how to clear this out. I guess I could just put mega torches all around. What's that going to take? Let's take a look here. I had, I just now thought of that mega torch. So that says no, it's not mega torch. I guess what? What's it called? What's it called? There's a doodad that makes the mobs go away. Is that it? Or if no. No, uh, 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 I don't know. I, I could have sworn there was, mm, no, that's not it. All right, I'm going to have to do some, I'm going to have to do some research. I could have sworn there was a mega, mega torch. Off to Kelly's videos. Off to Kelly's videos. All right, I have a plan. I have a plan for this mess, but uh, it's going to take me a little while to do it. So, this may be a short episode. I don't know yet. I may be running out of time to get the stuff done that I want to get done. But, uh, oh yeah, that down there is where I created in some materials to test out a thing. Mega torches are not a thing nope nope they got patched out apparently uh, according to Kelly and so I do not have mega torches but what I don't want is for these guys to turn this into a sky block now I'm gonna do some things here I gotta go get I need dirt I need a ton of dirt and I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out flatten this out because I will eventually grow out here and I'm going to do a thing. So, hopefully I will be able to get this done in time. In time. I'm not going to worry about moving this right now. I'm not even using it. So, yeah. Let me get to the thing. I'll give you a hint. Where's it at? I shall need many of those. <laughs> Well, bit of a weird solution, but I think this will work. We shall see. I went and dug a whole ton of dirt. And I was going to make a ziggurat out of dirt. And then cover it with the water. But then I got over here, and it was going to take a ton of dirt. A ton of dirt. And I did not want to do that. So I made some buckets. And I'm going to do this. This is how I'm going to do it. I uh, don't know if it's going to work. We'll find out. Because uh, the mega torch thing isn't going to work. Uh, I thought about maybe interdiction torches. They seem like something that I might could build relatively easily. But then I thought, <laughs> as crazy as this is, I thought it would be kind of neat to at least try it and see. And I uh, picked up some resources, some uh, gardens of some sort, um, shady gardens or something like that. Some, one of those Pam's gardens. And I, I grabbed a few of those just to keep them. And uh, so, yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to water it all up. Hopefully, it'll at least keep them from eroding the bottom of my base out. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Ooh, okay, so I accidentally looked at an Enderman down there. I was looking at all the mobs, blowing stuff up, seeing if it was going to 
seeing if the water trick was working and I'm still not sure if it is but stuff is still blowing up I accidentally looked at an enderman and he teleported up here and I thought oh I'll run over here and then he starts breaking blocks and killed me I deaded almost deaded almost deaded and uh, so this doesn't work um, yeah they just he just broke through and dropped blocks everywhere and almost killed it me so I went over to my test world and tried to find a block that they don't break I could not find one I tried interdiction torches and they seem to work sometimes and I tried a whole bunch of stuff. I spent like two hours of it, doing it, trying, testing different things. And I couldn't come up with one. I only came up with one solution. And y'all ain't going to like it. <laughs> but, but, it, but it worked. So, yeah, <laughs> good old-fashioned puddle of water. So if one does jump me from up here, I can run and get in the water. And I'll be safe. Safe in my water. Yep. Alright. Well, I got to get some stuff done. Ooh, I should probably eat. And yeah, also spoiler. I'm building a chicken farm. Uh, that's what I was working on. I heard the kabooms and went and looked. Enderman jumped me. But yeah, I'm just making a vanilla chicken farm. I know how to make it, and I don't need a whole lot of chicken. I just need some feathers. And this is, you know, modded's probably got a great way of doing it, but I don't know what it is yet. So until then, I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and get that finished up. <clears throat> now that I am relatively safe with my water puddle, my puddle of safety. All right, so I made up some lassos, and remember those chickens that were over there? Yeah, no, they're up here now. I poked them in there. Now, something I found that I thought was kind of weird, I had a ladder there so that I could get in there and then get out if I had to. And I went over here with my first chicken, and I threw him in there nope <laughs> he's in the box i don't know if that's on purpose or i suspect the hitbox of the ladder is forcing it to spawn inside the glass <laughs> and they're kind of stuck there i don't know what happens i, I broke him bird loose and, and put the rest of them in there but i wanted to show you all this this is kind of cute i'm gonna leave him there um we're gonna break that guy and we're going to put that last, second to last chicken in there because I have decided I know what I'm going to work on next. And it takes these. Y'all know what it is? I know you know what it is. Yes, we're going to start working on the angel ring. And I already have the bits that so we're gonna go ahead and do the chicken ring today and then work on getting the rest of them next episode oh no it always does that I don't know why ring of the chicken wing the chicken wing ring flight of the majestic beast yeah I don't know what that is but uh, I don't have any GP to power it so, for the time being, I'm going to poke it in the important box here. I'm going to put that right there. Go ahead and put those lassos with them. Because I'm going to be needing them. That's for sure enough. So, I'm going to see if he lays eggs and what happens to the eggs. I wonder if they just pop up. Oh, I should probably throw those in. Now nah, we'll wait. I'm going to call that an episode. I got me a rudimentary vanilla chicken farm for feathers. I got my safety puddle. Safety puddle. And we will work on getting an angel ring next episode. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you guys later.
Vaya que en Dios, amigos.